Beneath all the razzle-dazzle you see on Dancing with the Stars, every contestant is pushing through some measure of pain just to get ready for the next show. For the one you're about to meet, the frustrations of training are decidedly different. He's doing everything the others are, but with half as many limbs. And he's got an entire nation cheering for him. Here's ABC's Brandy Hitt. Amid all the breathtaking twists and turns on this sizzling season of Dancing with the Stars, one competitor is inspiring a nation. You're my heroes, uh, Noah. Double amputee Noah Galloway is stealing hearts with each shake, kick, and lift. What's been the biggest challenge for you? Because I don't have the knee, you know, the, the left side is a little stiff. The 33-year-old lost both his left leg and arm while fighting in Iraq. But it's his fighting spirit that transformed this wounded veteran into an astounding athlete and into the national spotlight, making this cover of Men's Health magazine. I can't lean into this. Is this just going to go? Yeah. Mioka. Two. <laughs> Were you a big dancer before your injuries? No. No, <laughs> not at all. No. no. <laughs> In fact, no one never imagined he'd end up here, dancing on a reality television show. Born into a military family, Noah had no interest in joining the armed forces. That was until September 11th, watching the World Trade Center burn. I remember seeing that on the news, and I went for a long run. And I didn't see it as a career decision. I saw it as where I needed to be in my life. I was 20 years old. I was physically fit. I knew that our country had fallen under attack and we were going to do something about it. So I immediately went and enlisted in the Army. That day, was it instant? Yeah, it was, I mean, it was right then. Noah had even applied for Special Forces training. And in 2005, during his second deployment to Iraq, he was selected to return to the U.S. for the school portion of that training. I was like, well, I'm not leaving this deployment to go to a school. So that can happen after. And I turned it away. And then about two, three weeks later, we were in a convoy heading down a road in some vehicles, and I hit a tripwire, and it hit my door. I don't remember any of it. An IED blew Noah's armored Humvee into a canal. Everyone inside the vehicle survived, but Noah woke up six days later on Christmas Day in the hospital, unsure of what had happened. It was my mom that explained to me that I'd lost my left arm above the elbow and my left leg above the knee. I had severe injuries to my right leg. I felt like I was this physical person, I'd found a career, and then I woke up one day, it was all gone. And that was really hard for me to deal with. And his long road to recovery quickly turned into a deep depression. And I'd go out in public, everybody thought I was fine. Mm -hmm. But then when I was at home, I would just sit around, I would drink. And then one day, you know, with the kids, and then look in the mirror and seeing, well, I've got two limbs left. I can do something with this. That something was retraining his body and mindset. His father of three started working out in 2010. Then came 5K obstacle races, mud runs, and marathons. His new motto, no excuses. All of that hard work earning Noah the title of Men's Health Magazine's 2014 Ultimate Men's Health Guy. I just kept challenging myself, and it became where I just wanted a new challenge every day. This latest challenge, one of his toughest yet. Why did you want to do Dancing with the Stars? I'd never considered it. I mean, it was never on my radar, and it was much different than any marathon I've ever run or mountain I've climbed. I'm always telling people to step out of their comfort zone and challenge themselves, and this is way out of my comfort zone. Noah also isn't the first double amputee celebrity dancer. Paralympic <laughs> snowboarder Amy Purdy stole the show in season 18, spinning her way all the way to second place. They said, well, we had Amy Purdy on. I was like, oh yeah, she's amazing. I saw it, that was great, but different injuries. She has her knees, I don't. And that's also a challenge for Noah's professional dance partner, Sharna Burgess. What has been the biggest challenge for you in teaching this guy to dance? Noah concentrates so hard on the movement and he's such a perfectionist that if he feels he does a step wrong, he really lets it affect him. Uh, whereas you can't do that on the dance floor. You have to sell it. You have to fake it till you make it. For this week's Argentine tango, Noah used his strength to perform one-handed lifts that wowed the judges. That is the best dance you have done. And the lifts out of this world. His three children, also seen in the crowd this season, cheering their father on. I knew they were excited about it, but when I looked over and I'm seeing you know, my oldest son fist pumping, they were so overjoyed and proud. 
It's amazing. America is also touched by Noah's bond with his girlfriend, Jamie Boyd. He dedicated this dance to his Alabama sweetheart, <laughs> who in return surprised him on live television. The two met on Jamie's radio show three years ago. I remember when I saw her, I was like, wow, who is that? <laughs> Holly talked her into going out on a date with me, and, and it just kept growing from there. They first became friends, running races together before falling in love. I mean, he's just such an inspiration to me uh, every day. I'm just so thankful to even to just be in your life. Down, up. That inspiration, his injury and recovery will take center stage Monday when Noah performs an emotional routine portraying his most memorable year. He chose the year he lost both limbs. It ties into so many different things, you know, the way I am as a father and everything that I do in my daily life revolves around that moment, how it put me into depression, but then I was able to come out of it and make life better for me and my family. A message Noah hopes resonates with injured veterans across the country. For Nightline, I'm Brandi Hitt in Los Angeles. No excuses. So who will you be rooting for on Monday when Dancing with the Stars airs on ABC? Head to our Nightline Facebook page and let us know your favorite contestant.